This smells good. Hey, you! Don't you know it's forbidden to run around outside the town? Are you part of the town guard? That's right. I'm guarding the gate so no one can leave. Shouldn't you stand inside then? Well, I also have to stop people coming in. What if I want to get in? I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. Or would you rather go to the monastery? What are things like in the town? Used to be good, but since Don Esteban left, Inquisition's in charge now. Brought the farmers into town, then sealed the gates. That's the Inquisitor's new law. And Commandant Carlos has everyone who violates the law taken to the monastery. What can you tell me about Commandant Carlos? He's the new boss. He and his warriors of the Order try to keep law and order. They try? Well, the Don's men don't let them have it all their own way, right? Things are quiet now, but that could change any time. Tell me about Don Esteban. Great man, great man. Most people probably think he ran away from the Inquisition, but that's not true. No? No. He set up camp in the swamp to take gold out of the ruins himself. That's what this is all about. Gold. He left a couple of his men here to carry on his business while he gets his share. What's going on in the monastery? They say they do training. But everyone knows they enchant people up there. Enchant them? A couple of the boys, they took her back in town. Before, they didn't take the law seriously. Now they blindly follow the Inquisitor. If that's not enchantment, you explain it. Maybe they changed their minds. You might be able to change my mind with a couple of gold coins. But what the Inquisitor did with them... I'm telling you, he used magic on them. So the town has divided loyalties. You live here, you've got to choose. Stay loyal to the Don, to our people, or help the swanky bastards from the mainland. Of course, you can just keep your head down, try and keep out of trouble. Trouble finds people. If you say so. I just follow orders, mate. But trust me, you don't want to side with the order. You want to help the Don. And you work for the Don? Me? No. I'm part of the town guard. And all citizens must do what Commandant Carlos says. And you don't like that? You can't cut deals with the warriors of the Order. The Don's men were always open to a good deal. You mean you could buy them off? Call it what you want. A deal is a deal. And everyone was happy. How much to let me in? Hundred gold coins. But you can't come and go as you like. Once you're in, you're in. You're asking for a lot of gold. Be glad I don't take twice as much to save you from the monastery. But I'm not an asshole. I'm willing to haggle. If you don't have enough gold, you can trade things instead. Let's trade.
Just let me in. I'll let you in, provided you have the gold. Here's your gold. All right, but not a word to anyone about our little deal. Otherwise, we'll both wind up in the monastery. Are you going to let me in? Well, you want to go in uninformed, that's up to you. But here, at least take a town map. Good luck. You'll need it. Get out! Hello, farmer. Hello, stranger. What is it you're doing here? I'm one of the lucky ones. The merchant comrade pays me to watch his cows. The others haven't been so lucky. But such is the law of the Inquisitor. In the town you'll be safe, they said. Safe, maybe. Safe and starving. Please don't disturb me. Maybe later, all right? Spare a coin for a poor farmer. We have nothing to eat. My wife Martha is sick. Can't you find work here? I had work, guarding the cows. But Martha needs me now. We're down to our last few coins. Here, 25 gold pieces. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Good luck, and don't give up hope. I won't. Thank you. Can I help you? Are you a healer? My wife is so sick, I fear the worst. What's wrong with her? She's feverish. I blame these cursed bloody ruins. Why? How did they make her ill? They came out of the ground right next to my damn farm. Next day, Martha caught this fever, and she's got sicker since then. I don't know what to do. Her only hope is Master Belshaw. Who is Master Belshaw? A mage from the monastery. He spends his time at the Shrine of the Flame, back in the gutters. He cares about poor farmers like us. No one else does. Just let me sleep. Leave me be. You're new here, right? Leto let you in, huh? So, what if he did let me in? 
don't worry. I won't give you away. After all, we don't want any trouble with the law. I've had more than enough already. You've had trouble with the law? Ha! The law is just an excuse to lock us all in the town. The Order wants to loot the ruins in peace. Once they've taken the last crumb of gold out of the ruins, they'll let us out again. Don Esteban figured that out right away. Why are you in the town, and not in the swamp? Simple. The Don doesn't let go of things that belong to him. Some of us are keeping business going here, until the Inquisition move on. What's the Order doing about the Don's men? They stop us where they can. Since they came here with their fancy white uniforms, they've never taken their eyes off us. They're just waiting for us to step out of line. Then they'll take us to the monastery. Keep your eye out for Sebastian. He's always around, watching. What business do you do? Anything that brings gold. Gold's the only way we can challenge the Alder and the Warriors, isn't it? Taking the town back is what it's all about. We control the town, we control the island. For now, though, the Inquisitor and Commandant Carlos are in charge. So watch your step. All right. Tell me about Commandant Carlos. He's the Inquisitor's watchdog. His headquarters is in the guardhouse. He sits up there controlling everyone's lives. But it's only a matter of time before he pisses enough people off.